Ladies and gentlemen, it was brought to my attention in my own neighborhood that there's a gentleman by the name of Tom McDonald who just so happened to write a song entitled Fake Woke. And supposedly, he also, between him and his girlfriend, wrote this song together, produced it, um, edited the video, and I think this has truly blown my freaking mind. I would like to get to know this Tom McDonald. Well, with that further ado, let's get to the video. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my show. This is Wolfie is Famous. So the other tough looking guy, <laughs> Um, he's just one of the characters that I play for fun at times when I, whenever I'm feeling kind of, you know, daring. But anywho, um, I'm going to go ahead and get straight to the video. Because, you know, when Tom McDonald does something or says something, people out there listen. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. I think it's crazy I'm the one who they labeled as controversial And Cardi B is the role model for 12 year old girls There's rappers pushing Xanax at the top of the billboard But if I mention race in a song I'm scared I'll get killed for it. It's back, mm -hmm. it's getting exponentially dumb It's more difficult to get a job than purchase a gun Eminem used to gay bash and murder his mom And now he doesn't want fans if they voted for Trump We're ashamed to be American You should probably love it Cause you have the right to hate it and not get stoned to death in public As children we were taught wow. how to walk and talk But the system Wants adults to sit down and shut up. Cancel culture runs the world now. The planet went crazy. Label everything. What the heck is up with the uh, with this cancel culture that we have trending uh, these last five years, maybe even longer? But it's slowly become not only a trend, but it's basically the go-to. You know, it's slowly becoming to where. You can't even speak your mind anymore. Uh, I thought that was our freedoms, right? Freedom of speech, etc., etc. Uh, but yeah, I think we need to put a stop to this idiotic cancel culture phenomenon that is happening not only here in the United States, but pretty much all over the globe. What do you guys think about that? we say is homophobic or racist if you're white then you're privileged guilty by association all our child yeah and that's the other thing i'm constantly seeing stuff in the news and uh social media pretty much anything you say or do now is, is labeled as in other words you're basically racist it could be any little thing that you say and basically depending on who you are people will automatically get pissed and call you a racist. Your thoughts on that too? But heroes got me too to the rape. They never freed the slaves. They realized that they don't need the chains. They gave us tiny screens. We think we free because we can't see the cage. They knew that rape. Wait, because we can or can't see the cage? Wait, what? Realized that they don't need the chains. They gave us tiny screens. We think we free because we can't see the cage. We can't or can't? Uh... Does it have no lyrics? Hmm. How about ladies and gentlemen? Let's look up the lyrics. Tom McDonald fake woke lyrics. They never freed the slaves. They realized that they don't need the chains. They gave us tiny screens. We think we free because we can't see the cage. <laughs> That's interesting how you put that together. It's absolutely true. They knew that race war would be the game they need to play for people to big teams. They use the media to feed the flame. Yeah, that's absolutely right again. The news media, as you can see, is, is holding one side, right? Of the political polit <laughs> of the political party. They're um they're all leftists basically. 
They're all Democrats. You know, so they have one side of the United States thinking one way because of the uh, constant repetition on the mainstream. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Don't you guys also wonder why some people can't see it? See that they're being manipulated versus others that can? They saw fake woke, facts don't care about feelings. Wait, so is he basically talking about the left and how they think they're woke, but they're not really woke? And basically they're blinded and or sort of like brainwashed to think the way they do? Your feelings. Crazy all these people screaming facts, but they fake woke. Hate their neighbor because he wears a mask or he stays home. Has a daughter, but his favorite artist said he slays home. Yeah, and what's up with that too? Uh seeing this on the news a lot is when anti-maskers give the the person with the mask problems and vice versa. Uh just like my take on that is just mind your damn business right and just kind of move along do your thing you know always picks her up from school music slaps on the way home censorship's an issue because they choose what they erase there's the difference between hate speech and speech that you hate now i don't know if any of you guys know i'm an independent so i don't believe in the democratic party or the republican party but i can kind of see what what's going on uh the democrats pretty much from my opinion and my vision, the way I see things, is that the Democrats pretty much hold control of the MSM. And the other side keeps getting censored and shut down and banned. Um, that does not seem right to me. Uh, can you guys agree with me on that? I think Black Lives Matter was the stupidest name when the system's screwing everyone exactly the same. I just want to spend Thanksgiving Day with food and my family without being accused Oops. of celebrating. That was an interesting statement, though. He said uh, BLM was a stupid name. In other words, basically, it wouldn't matter what the title was of the group or of the movement um, because we all actually matter and not only that we all matter is that they're basically treating us all the same and the way he's speaking about it is they're treating us all in the negative way you hate i think black lives matter was the stupidest name when the system's screwing everyone exactly the same i just want to spend thanksgiving day with food and my family without being accused of celebrating native casualties we got so divided it's black and white and political republicans are bigots libtards if you're liberal there's riots in our streets and it's just getting worse y'all screaming deep on the police y'all are genius for sure they're underfunded already they're way too busy to work order food and call the cops see what reaches you first segregation ended that's a uh, that's kind of true though sometimes uh I had seen a documentary about um, how long it takes police officers to get to get to you after you've called them. It depends on where you live in the country, uh, and it, yeah, depends on the uh, state. Not only the state, but down to the city. Um, that can all you know take sooner or longer for the police to get to you lying itself that was a strategy to make us think they were trying to help they knew that racism was hot if they designed it to sell we buy up every single box and divide us ourselves they so fake woke facts don't care about feelings they know yeah man this this guy tom 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 mcdonald you are a lyrical genius uh not to compare you to anybody because i think you're a pretty unique the immortal technique is right there with you too on the same level. Facts 
And wonder why it isn't working. That's like sleeping with a football team to try and be a virgin. Yeah, so I don't understand why. I think I kind of know what happened to the Black Lives uh, Movement. I mean, Black Lives Matter movement. I think their movement got hijacked by we know who. Um, and so I think that's how it ended up spiral, spiraling into like buildings burning and you know people getting hurt out there and and some people even died yeah i think it was all set up just like the way the other side got set up too at the capitol <laughs> Politicians are for sale and someone always makes the purchase But you and I cannot afford it, our democracy is worthless If a man has mental illness, call him crazy, say it silently When countries going crazy, we accept it as society Get sick and take a pill when the side effects get you high You get addicted like these rappers dying, fighting with sobriety Censoring the facts turns our children into idiots They claim it's for our safety, I'll tell you what it really is Removing information that empowers all the citizens The truth doesn't damage points of view that are legitimate They're trying to change amen to amen and women How do we let them make praying a wait a minute <laughs> i saw this somewhere uh i don't know where it was maybe tiktok or something like that but yeah they were saying that so like during prayers or whatever instead of uh not only saying a amen i guess now we're supposed to say a woman or something like that and also you know how we have history they also want to call it her story and you know so on and so forth i think it's kind of ridiculous Mm. Um, I'm not going to say anything else about that. <laughs> Microaggression. Instead of asking God for the strength to keep winning, we cheat to get ahead and then we ask him for forgiveness. Feminism used to be the most righteous of fights, but these days it feels like they secretly hate guys. I don't trust anyone who bleeds for a week and don't die. I'm just kidding. But everything else that I said is right. They so wow. Okay. This guy has literally taken over the whole rap industry, in my humble opinion. This guy is a lyrical genius, and it's going to be very difficult to go um, head to head with this guy. He has a lot of facts. He has a lot of rhythm, uniqueness. He just has like the whole, you know, nine yards. Very unique. Uh, but yeah. Uh, maybe uh, I, I think I want to speak to Tom real quick um, uh, because uh, you know Tom I gotta tell you something man oh hey wolf get out of here <laughs> thank you thank you very much so Tom yeah um, I'll tell you something okay you blew me out of the water man right out of the water Okay. Please contact me. I want to get to know you a little bit, you know. You're just like a friend of, of his had. Just never came around. Ah, uh, yeah. Leave a comment, Tom McDonald. Everybody go tell Tom to leave me a comment, okay? All right, ladies and gentlemen. I uh, got to get going. Got things to do, people to see, you know, things to eat. <laughs> Okay, everybody, thank you for watching the video. I will see you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.